Whoop! Hang on, I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, I had to. Yeah, I forgot to. I had to uh, reset all my staging here, so I've got all my my jet engines and my rocket engines fire, and then the then the solid rocket booster fires, and then once I get up up out of the atmosphere, up to the top of the sky, then I'll decouple my my fake my test load here. Okay, now let's try it. Grunt provisional, ready for its first test launch. I don't see, I really don't see any point in even, whoops, hang on, in going to the launch pad because you can take off from the runway just fine. I also added a couple more struts there whenever I wasn't recording, but I haven't actually tried to fly the thing yet. Here goes! Come on, computer. Yeah, these three, remember these three? Whoop, hang on, where'd my three kerbals go? My three kerbals disappeared. All my struts disap... Oh. This is odd and unusual behavior. Hang on. Um, end flight. End flight structural failure between the nose cone system ASAS and the Mark II cockpit. Okay. Well, let's go back in here. Let's load the grunt provisional because sometimes bad things happen whenever I just go straight back into the building. Okay, okay. All right, well, Captain, let's try and figure out what happened. We gave it all she's got, Captain, and she just broke. All right, so here's the nose cone SAS. Here's my Mark II cockpit. And they're breaking in between them. That's bad. Right, I'll tell you what, let's get... I don't know, first we'll try and fix it without taking everything apart. Um, yeah, I guess there's not too many junctions here. We'll go and we'll skip to the heavy strut connectors. And save the changes. Okay, let's try this again. Wow, it was weird. My Kerbal Nuts disappeared from that one, though. It was very strange. All right, whole bunch of reinforcements there. Now let's try it. Come on, let go. There we go. Launch. Grunt provisional debris. It's not debris, it's a vehicle. It's just rude to call it a debris. Oh, we've got a different crew. Fredulous, Neil Mix. Right? And again, my crew disappears. Again, all the struts are broken. Um, and flight. And I have no flight events. Why? So why did all the struts break? Is this being another weird bug? My staging is different over here. I don't understand what is happening. Um, let me see. We still have... All the extra reinforcement I just put on there is still there. That's good. And we'll save it. Hmm. What can I do different? What can I do different? Maybe I'll try. Well, here, we'll try it this way. Okay, maybe I'll try saving it like this. Save and launch. Provisional debris already on the runway. Clear the runway. Proceed. We're going through more of these crew that we've seen before. And again, all the all those broke. Um. Okay, I'm not going to launch this. We've obviously got some kind of a glitch in the system. I'm not going to launch that. Brief intermission, I'm going to change something here. I'm going to try something. Okay, here's what I'm going to try. I just copied the grunt provisional design from the space plane hangar. I copied it over into the vehicle assembly building. Maybe that's making a difference doing some kind of... doing the uh, takeoff from the... Um, doing the vertical takeoff here. We'll try it from the tower. Which means... Ooh, hang on, I need, I need that... Which means I need that thing to be... 
backwards, so it's right now it's going to be embed itself into the tower. And, whoops. Oh, come on. Get even there. Yeah, that'll probably work. Okay. Try this again. Third time's charm. Fourth, fifth, whatever it is. Let's launch this damn thing. Sherman Kerman, Akira Kerman, and Carl Kerman. Ah, maybe that did make a difference. We, I do not see broken struts. It looks like my crew is staying with it. Yeah, I was running into some kind of a bug there, wasn't I? And let's get precision control turned on. Turn SAS on just for the initial launch. I'm kind of nervous about this. Okay. Um, Sherman, Akira, Carl. Bold pioneers. We're gonna the new grunt. I don't have a number for it because I don't know what what's the maximum weight it can it can boost. But we're about to find out. We'll find out the, how control how stable it is. So you guys, Sherman, Akira, Carl, you're gonna live. You're gonna survive this one. I promise you. Banzai. Whoop! I just staged and it didn't stage. It didn't fire the engines. Oh, I had. I had the wrong button. I had the, my joystick set to the wrong setting. <laughs> oh, it's been too long since I've done this. Here we go. Okay. This appears nicely stable. What happens if we turn the SAS off? Ooh, still nicely stable. I like it. Uh, let's go for a roll. Gentle, gentle, gentle roll. Here a little bit, starting to let's adjust that rudder a little bit. Okay, put it right about there. Oh, this is nicely stable. Yeah, that's working just fine. Okay, so this solid rocket booster is just past halfway gone. We've got quite a bit of the rocket fuel left, it looks like. Well, this is excellent, yeah. Now I'm worried that maybe I didn't pack enough fuel in this thing. I have enough thrust, but I don't know if I have enough fuel to actually make it where I need to go. Okay. There we go. 10,000. Getting just a few more thousand feet and this jet engine's no longer being good. Okay, so... Yeah, we've exhausted the solid rocket booster. We got rid of a whole lot of weight. Ahead and zoom in. Let me kill these jet engines. And now we're just on rockets. And let's pitch back some. Ooh, being kind of reluctant to do this pitch. Probably should turn. Yeah, let's turn that RCS on. Okay. Well, it's being kind of. Yeah, it's a lot of mass. It's being kind of reluctant to maneuver. And now it's starting to maneuver a little bit too much. But still, this is nicely balanced, I think. I think that my initial guess on where to place those rocket engines, that was actually pretty good. Oops. Turn that SAS on, turn the RCS off for a second. Let's see. And an apple apsis of 27 kilometers. That is insufficient. The vehicle is fairly balanced. It is not strong enough for the mission that I need. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that thing. Let's see if we can... Uh, let's turn RCS on and see if I can... Just see if I can... Can I back myself off from it a little bit? Here, let's try it this way. I'm trying to burn up all this RCS fuel. I'm trying to disengage myself. I'm falling real, real fast. Oh, let's turn the SAS off. I'm trying to disengage myself from the payload without breaking anything. And, well, its nose is still stuck in there. Okay, let's not do that. 
Let's not do that. What? What happened? What? What happened? Why is it a black screen? What? What? We... Oh. What? That was a bug. Come on! Man, that was a bug. This was... Hang on, hang on. I'm stopping recording. I gotta figure out what's... This is... This is a bug. Yeah, I'm stopping recording. I had to figure this out. I'll be right back. <laughs> 